Welcome to SpriteMancer Node Graph Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at the Node Graph section and learn how it works. Here is the Node Graph section. Nodes are used to add multiple effects and transforms to your animation. You can move a node by grabbing it with the left mouse button. You can also move all the node graph by clicking any empty space with left or right mouse button. You can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel, center and reset zoom level with the middle mouse button. Let's see how it works by adding some nodes. To create a node, we are going to press the right mouse button to open the context menu. Here we can write the node's name in order to do a search to find it, or we can go to add node menu and select from all the available nodes. We are going to add a pixelate and a palette node for now. We now have an input node, which is always created on a new project, a pixelate node and a palette node, but they aren't connected. To connect nodes, we are going to click in the right white circle and drag it to the left white circle node we want to connect to. As you might be able to see, our nodes are now working and the image is getting pixelated. We can load one of the included palette nodes palettes or load our own. We can disconnect nodes from each other by clicking on the right white circle. We can also disable a node by unticking the checkbox at the left side of its name. We can delete a node by right-clicking it and then selecting Delete Node. If the node was connected to other two nodes, it'll keep the connection by connecting the other two nodes together. Let's go back to the input node. As you can see that by default it's using all layers as an input, but we might want to only apply the nodes to one specific layer. We can select the layer we want to use as an input from the list. We can also create multiple input nodes with different layers and different node chains. Let's see another kind of node type, but first we need to clear the current node graph. We can do that by right-clicking the Node Graph tab and selecting Clear. We can also save and open entire node graphs from here. Let's add an Outer Glow node. You can see that at the right side of a mount slider, there's a red circle. This red circle indicates that a modifier node can be linked here. Let's open the context menu again, and this time we're going to go to time menu, and we are going to create a sign slash ping pong node. Notice that this node has a red border, and the output circle is also red. That means that this is a modifier node and can be linked to the other red circle we talked about before. Let's do that. We can see now that the outer glow's amount value is being modulated by this new node. There are multiple modifier nodes like this sign slash ping pong. This concludes the node graph section tutorial. New nodes are added almost every update. Check the documentation for more info about them and feel free to experiment and have fun with them. Thank you so much for checking out SpriteMancer. Remember that we have a Discord community where you can share your creations, suggestions, and bug reports. See you in the next video.